when we, when we are invited to listen in to Jesus' prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane, he's actually a stone's throw away from the disciples, and most of them have fallen asleep, and yet subsequently we're told how he prayed. He prays the way he taught us to pray. He prays, Abba, Father, like a child talking to his parent. He prays, not my will, but your will be done. And he asks if it's possible for the cup of suffering to be removed from him. When we read in the epistle to the Hebrews that Jesus was made like us in every aspect and that he experienced the difficulties of being a human being and the difficulties of doing God's will, we see that very clearly in the Garden of Gethsemane. If he could have walked away, he would have. But his obedience to his father triumphed. And in one respect, in the Gospel of Luke, we see that really it's that prayer in the garden where Jesus triumphs over his fear so that he is resolute to go to the cross. And he goes to the cross in control of his destiny as a result.